difficult. It's far too early to say to what extent this very, very unfortunate series of events that have taken place on Easter Sunday, what effect it's going to have. Clearly, it has had an impact on confidence and sentiment. But I think the extent of the disruption uh, would depend on how quickly the government can stabilize the situation. Uh, if one a is able to, to bring um, normalcy and also uh, to give confidence uh, to the people and businesses uh, that the situation is under control, uh, then it's possible that the, the impact can be contained. Would you say there are now downside risks to the 2019 growth forecast of 35 to 4%, Governor? No, I think it's still a little too early. I, I don't want to be too hasty in doing this. The sector that is going to be most affected is tourism in the short run. And the tourism sector has a number of supply chains attached to it in the agricultural sector in terms of the services as far as handicrafts, as far as transport. Tourism is roughly about 5% of GDP. Can you say when that impact is going to be felt. The, there is a seasonality attached to the tourism sector in terms of uh, arrivals. Uh, the peak season is November through March. May, June tend to be fairly down months, relatively speaking, and then there's a pickup again over August. So the fact that we are going to the off season, going into the off season, will help to mitigate the effects to some extent. So as I said, it depends how quickly we're able to stabilize the situation and give confidence uh, both to Sri Lankans as well as potential visitors. That will depend really on, on the extent of the disruption. By November, if we have you know, clear stability in the country and this problem has been put well behind us, then the disruption may not be significant. What we've seen in the past is that one season after a major event, major security event, Often the very next season does get affected, but then there is a pickup after that, relatively quickly. That has been the pattern in the past. Dr. Kumaraswamy also made it clear under which circumstances the central bank would intervene to curb the rupee slide. In an inflation, inflation targeting framework, the exchange rate is the first line of defense. It has to be flexible to take on uh, shocks, to adjust to shocks. So we will manage the exchange rate flexibly. We, we're not defending any particular rate. However, the central bank will intervene to prevent disorderly adjustment. So I must say that in the last couple of days, we have intervened, not very much, but we have intervened a little bit in the market uh, to ensure that this, this shock that has come in, uh, that has, that has uh, come out of the, out of the blue, uh, does not disrupt the FX market, and that the exchange rate does not move in a way that is misaligned with the underlying fundamentals.